हे गाइस हाय वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ हर्ष प्रियम मैं वेदांतु में एक मैथमेटिक्स टीचर हूं ओके एंड आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू टू प्रेजेंट अ न्यू सीरीज फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू दैट इज थिंग हटके नाउ व्हाट इज दिस थिंग हटके सो आई जस्ट सेट द कंटेक्स इन जस्ट वन मिनट थिंक हटके इज बेसिकली अ डिफरेंट एंड यूनिक कंसेप्ट फॉर ऑल दो स्टूडेंट्स हु आर अ डेस्परेट लवर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फर्स्ट and for all those students who want to fall in love with mathematics or probably they are not able to find mathematics that interesting so most of the time student ask me this question that sir is there any method with which we can generate our interest in mathematics so yes there is a method the best method is that you see the brighter part of mathematics and mostly when i say brighter part of mathematics student tend to assume that brighter part of mathematics means they i am saying them to see the easier questions and the most solvable questions like that no it's not like that because till the time you will be solving easiest question and you will be like that yes it is the easiest one and i can solve it you will not feel that confidence the brighter part with this i mean try to look at the toughest question and how to solve it it in the easiest manner and that is the concept of think hatke so i am very happy to present this think hatke concept for all of you guys because i have been getting multiple response huge response from all the arena of all the existing students which i have and they are constantly telling me that sir please come up with some series some program something like that in which we can get the opportunity to learn something out of the box and that to in an easier manner so that we can generate our interest and love in mathematics and this is the answer to it so guys think hatke is basically i'll be giving you every day from monday to friday some one or two questions in which you have to think so what you can do you can pause the video you can take your time take one day two day or whatever you want try solving that question if you are able to do it that's very good fantastic if you are not able to do it come and watch out the solution and even if you are able to do it still see the solution and try to check it out that whether you were able to do it in an easier method or the solution was an easier one so with this you will be able to inculcate that happiness and the interest towards that mathematics part and also you will be able to do eventually the toughest type of questions available and that too in the easiest manner so all those questions which i am going to show you are very very tough believe me because you will understand the difficulty of those questions once you try solving it on your own and i will solve all those questions in a much more easier manner so let's see here is the first question for all of you so this is a question which reads out in an acute angled triangle abc angle abc is the largest angle okay the perpendicular bisectors of bc and ba intersect ac at x and y prove that circum center of triangle abc is in center of bxy so now this looks like pretty kind of screwed question isn't it let's try it out so i'll just help you with a figure how the figure should be made so let us assume i have a triangle abc and very sure it is not an equilateral or isosceles triangle because it is already said that angle abc is the largest so if abc is the largest i hope you are know, knowing that side opposite to the largest angle is the largest side so ac is the largest side good now this is my b angle fine now the question is saying perpendicular bisectors of bc so perpendicular bisector of bc will be like looking like this a line which is bisecting it and 90 degree to it so this is intersecting ac at x fine this is my x point now the second part is saying that perpendicular bisector of ab also so i hope this should be the perpendicular bisector of ab if i am not wrong 90 degree and equal equal almost equal so this is intersecting ac at y so actually here it is not intersecting so i'll just try to make it intersect so it will extend and i'll extend this ac also so somewhere here it will intersect at y now the question starts so till here question was giving the information so the question says prove that circum center of triangle abc circum uh, circum center so i guess you should be knowing what is circum center 
सर्कम सेंटर इज इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ द परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर सो वन परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर सेकेंड परपेंडिकुलर बाई सेक्टर इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट सो दिस इज द सर्कम सेंटर लेट इट बी एच सो क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग प्रूव दैट एच ऑफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज इन सेंटर ऑफ बी एक्स वाई इफ आई टॉक अबाउट बी एक्स वाई आई मीन टू से दिस इफ आई टॉक अबाउट बी एक्स वाई सो कम ऑन ओके सो दिस इज माई बी एक्स वाई बी एक्स एंड वाई सो इफ आई ज्वाइन दिस दिस विल बी माई ट्राइंगल बी एक्स वाई सो बेसिकली द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग दैट टू प्रूव दैट बी एक्स वाई इन सेंटर इज ऑल्सो दिस पॉइंट ओनली एच so now this whole question is completed although this much part was not given you had to draw this okay so now can anyone give me any idea about this first of all let me tell you how it will be solved if you want a kind of hint so basically in center is that point which is the angle bisector intersection point of all the angle bisectors means if i have to prove that that this point h is the in center of this triangle bxy then eventually i have to prove that my this line x h is the angle bisector of this angle x and similarly my this line h y is the angle bisector of this angle y this i'll have to prove it if you are able to prove it it's done okay so if you think that yes you can solve it i guess you should have already started solving it before telling me the hint but still if you still think you can solve it pause it here also and try solving it out and if not let's see the solution so what do you think how it can be solved so the method i already said you gave a hint that it has to be proved angle by sector so let's try doing it so if i am not wrong i'll just prove it as angle by sector so i have assumed a triangle this is my abc i have taken a perpendicular bisector let it be intersecting ac at x what i had seen and another line perpendicular bisector of ab and this is intersecting ac at some point y so this is my q i have assumed this perpendicular bisector point as q although in question is x and y is men mentioned so now let's join bxy so i have got this bxy this triangle and now i have to prove that my yq yq is the angle bisector of this angle y and my xp xp is the angle bisector of this angle x so how is it going to be proved pretty easy man let's see these two triangles will be congruent can you tell me how i guess most of you would have already got it since it is a perpendicular bisector so this side is going to be equal to this side 90 degree 90 degree equal and xp is common in both the triangles so triangle bx bpx and triangle cpx bxp or cxp is congruent and the reason would be side angle side so i'll write the reason also it is side angle side and if both the triangles are congruent then i guess you would have got it that px is the angle bisector why because this angle is going to be equal to this angle so i have achieved my first target one target down thana let's move on to the next part now once i have proved that this px is angle bisector in the same fashion i'll move for the y part so let's see so for the y part i guess you would be able to understand i am considering this triangle this whole triangle big triangle i am talking here about y a q and y b q so y q a or you can take so if i am talking about y q a please pay attention this side equal to this side 90 degree 90 degree and q y is common in both of them so this triangle is congruent to this triangle isn't it by side angle side side angle side and these two triangles are congruent now if these two triangles are congruent i can write y q a congruent to yqb citing side angle side and although this was not my objective my objective was to prove this qy to prove this qy as what angle bisector man so i have proved it because 
this angle will be equal to this angle reason i'll just write the reason also or shall i write it or is it okay cpct congruent parts of congruent triangles or corresponding parts of con congruent triangles so you have got both the angles equal now if both the angles are equal very evident that surely qi is the angle bisector and now so if i talk about this particular triangle b x y i got that this angle is the angle bisector i got that this angle is the angle bisector and i got that this angle is also angle bisector so basically these two lines are the intersection point this is the intersection point let it be h is the intersection point of two angle bisector and if it is the intersection point of two angle bisectors in bxy very evidently it is proved man that it is nothing but in center did you all understand it come on give me a thumbs up write it in the chats do whatever but i want to know or put it in the comments that you did understand it or not and how much did you like it and apart from that i would like to even get the comments from those students who had paused this video tried solving it out so i want to know their feedback and comment that were you able to solve this or not and if not then what were the difficulties if yes then how much time did it take for you to solve it actually come on write it down in the comments so that i can have a communication with you and i can connect accordingly to you, all you all of you guys and thereafter i can come up with some more new ideas isn't it okay so i hope you all understood it and if you understood i have one more question for you that's one more surprise you want to see it come on let's see <clears throat> so this is the next question looking like super easy isn't it when i saw it i also felt the same that this is a super easy question and i am going to do it so first of all take a look at this question try drawing the figure and then try finding it out and i am again this time i'm again betting it out man that try anything if you think and try solving it just see are you able to get that answer or not so the question is saying in a triangle abc d is the midpoint so this is capital d is the midpoint of bc okay let me first draw the triangle if i am not wrong mm. it should be drawn something like this why i have made like this i'll tell you this is a b and c so the question is saying d is the midpoint of bc so let me draw the d if i am not wrong this is my d so now question is saying adb is 45 degree this angle is 45 fine a c d is 30 degree so this angle is 30 that is also fine and we have to determine b a d okay cool man so we have to determine this or let it be x so now those who all are dead devils they need to pause this video try solving it out take your time this video is already there and it will be there in the youtube so even if you are not able to solve it right now take your time but solve it and if you are able to solve it do write down in the comment and even if you are not then see the solution isn't it let's try it out so first and foremost what shall i do to get this question done because bro i am able to get it only one thing here that this is an exterior angle so if this is 30 by exterior angle property i can get this 15 but nothing else than that because this angle is not known and i if this angle is not known i don't have any i don't look at any point getting this angle so how to do this okay let's try see what i can do i can do a construction so this is my figure this angle i already got 15 i can do a construction like this now this construction is that i have drawn a line from d to p such that this p should lie on ac and such that that this dp should be equal to dc that is my construction step so if i have made these two angle these two lines equal then very sure you would be able to understand that this angle this angle would be this angle would be 30 degree i'll just show you this angle would be this angle would be 30 degree why 30 degree because both the sides are equal so if this is 30 this is also going to be 30 degree fine okay let's see something more 
Now, <coughs> this is also 30. Now, are you able to understand that this angle will be 60? Why? Exterior angle property. Why exterior angle property? That this is the exterior angle and hence it will be sum of both the angles. So 30 plus 30, this is 60. And if this is 60, this is only 45. So the remaining part in between part will be 15. Okay. Now what I did, I have joined P to B. I have joined P to B. Why I joined it? What benefit am I going to get? Let's see. Now you are you able to see that these two sides, they were already given equal because D was the midpoint. So BD and CD, they are equal. But also I had drawn this DP equal to CD. This means that this DP is also going to be equal to BD. So that's what I have written, BD equals to PD. And once, <coughs> once I have got this angle equal, I will write it down very smoothly. Please look at it. This is 30, this is 30, so 60. Surely this is 120, angle sum property. And please pay attention, this 120 is the exterior angle for this triangle, triangle B, P, D. And this angle and this angle is equal. Why? Because the sides are equal. <coughs> so if I assume this X, then this will be also X and X plus X should be equal to the exterior angle because exterior angle is equal to the sum of opposite interior angles. So by this I will get 2x equals to 120 degree <coughs> which gives me x equals to 60 degree. So very easily I can write it down that these two angles are 60 60. <coughs> are you able to understand one thing? That eventually I have got this 60 60 and 60. So what does it make? Triangle BDP. Can you tell me? I guess you would have got it. BDP is nothing but, nothing but an equilateral triangle, isn't it? So if it is an equilateral triangle, these two sides were already equal, this third side is also equal to this. Now, so I have got some good things. Let's try, see it. So what I can do now further. So if I have got this, 60, 60 I got. Now, very easily I can write BP, BD, CD equal, BP, BD and CD. All of them equal. Now this 15 degree we had already found because it was it is completely 60. Now are you able to see that this is also going to be 15? Can anyone tell me why? Can anyone tell me why? Okay, you need to write it down in the chats, in the in the live chats. Can anyone find why this is also 15? Any reason behind it? Come on, come on, tell me, tell me, tell me fast. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. So actually what is happening here that BP is equals to BD. So both the angles are equal and is equals to CD. BP, BD and CD is equal. Fine. So actually, you know what? My this angle was already 30 degree. See here. I'll, I'll write it down like this. Huh. So look from here. This angle is already 30 degree. If this angle is 30 degree, which is an exterior angle to this triangle. Please look into this triangle. This triangle. So in this triangle, one angle is already 15. Exterior is 30. So this angle has to be 15. Then only 15 and 15 can make the exterior angle equal to 30. Isn't it? So that is why this should be 15. And now, one more good interesting thing. If this is 15 then you would be able to see that this is following a property of isosceles triangle hence AP should be equal to PD and hence this was also equal this is also equal so these all lines are equal isn't it basically these all lines are becoming equal and hence very important conclusion with which I have drawn that this means this line and this line is equal so if I name this angle as X this particular angle, this complete angle should also be X. Don't you think so? Why? Because isosceles triangle. And again, this X plus X should be equal to the exterior angle, which is 60 plus 30. 60 plus 30. So I'll simply write it here. 2X should be equal to 90. 
हेंस एक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एक्स दिस कंप्लीट एंगल एक्स शुड बी इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री एंड वी हैड नॉट टू फाइंड दिस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री इज इंट इट वी हैड टू फाइंड दिस मच ओनली सो दिस फिफ्टीन इज हेयर सो आई जस्ट सिंपली रिड्यूस इट फिफ्टीन एंड आई राइट फोर्टी फाइव माइनस फिफ्टीन विच इज नथिंग बट थर्टी डिग्री एंड आई गॉट द आंसर इज इंट इट वॉज इंट इट इजी गाइज कम ऑन टेल मी did you all understand it and if even if you did not understand it even if you had some problem please see the recording once again and i am very sure you will be able to understand it kafi aasan hai itna bhi tough nahi hai aur this is very interesting because it is going to again help you guys in getting back your confidence in mathematics help you guys this is going to help you actually in again falling in love with mathematics because this was a question which was asked in a very good and coveted olympiad mathematics olympiad and this question was of 16 marks believe me and board had given to solve this question time something around more than an hour so if you are able to understand this question in just 5 minutes and if probably you will be able to solve it in 10 to 15 minutes then just imagine you will get 16 marks in just 15 minutes isn't it that isn't that cool super cool so that was the beauty of this question and that's the beauty of mathematics that you can actually solve toughest question in the easiest manner i did not applied any such concept which is like rocket science isn't it i did not even apply 11 12th concept i simply applied basic geometry isn't it okay cool so i hope you all would have understood this complete so hence we have got the answer and this is like answer is like something something we got 45 degree complete y is 45 degree and hence the remaining part will be 30 degree okay so that was all folks for today's session i'll be again seeing you guys in tomorrow's session with some more interesting and out of the box questions which we'll be solving again to get much more fun in mathematics and again fall back in love with mathematics so that was all from my side myself harsh prem signing off at this junction see you guys tomorrow again at the same time same place till then bye bye Take care and good night bye